Hello and welcome to Phuket Pals GED Express Screencast with me, Teacher Marco. Today's lesson focuses on photosynthesis and respiration. So photosynthesis is a chemical process of using um, the energy and sunlight to produce glucose. I have here a diagram on the right side of the slide and if you take a look it takes place in the cells of plants leaves um, and if you look at the diagram um, carbon dioxide enters cells through tiny holes in the leaf now um, also water is absorbed by the plants roots and travels to the leaf cells when the light energy enters the cells Carbon dioxide and water react in structures called chloroplast. So these are the structures called chloroplast. Uh, the reaction produces glucose or sugar and oxygen. So glucose travels to the rest of the plant to be used or stored. And the oxygen exits the leaf through the tiny holes. So let me show you an equation. This equation summarizes the photosynthesis reaction. We're going to use this later on the questions that I will present at the end of this lesson. Now, what about respiration? So, respiration is a chemical process of converting glucose to energy that can be used by the cell. So, respiration occurs in two stages as shown in the diagram that is posted here on the slide. Uh, first, glucose from food enters the cell and is broken down into smaller molecules. This process releases a small amount of energy for the cell to use. And next, the smaller molecules react with oxygen inside the cell's mitochondria. Here, this structure. This reaction, uh, reaction produces carbon dioxide, water, and a large amount of energy. And the cell has now enough energy it needs to carry out the normal functions. Now, what happens to the carbon dioxide? That's a different lesson. All right. Um, so let me show you another equation. So a while back, I have shown you the equation for photosynthesis. And... The one that is on this slide is um, the equation for respiration. Okay. So here, uh, I have posted the two equations here on the right side of the slide. And on the left side, I have a question or a problem. So let's take a look at this um, problem here. Write the appropriate number uh, from the photosynthesis equation in each of the blanks. So photosynthesis requires blank molecules of carbon, carbon dioxide, and blank molecules of water to produce one molecule of glucose. So let's take a look at the photosynthesis equation here. So we have carbon dioxide plus Water is equal to glucose and oxygen. So let's solve the first part. Photosynthesis requires blank molecules of carbon. So, oh, sorry. In this chemical equation, the coefficient in front of each substance identifies the number of molecules. So since this one is carbon dioxide, the molecules um, are six, six molecules of carbon dioxide, and we have water here. So we also need six molecules of water to produce one molecule of, car uh, of glucose, right? So there you go. We were able to solve this problem. Um, you know, let's, I think, let's move on to the next question. Right. 
which statement correctly describes the relationship between the processes of photosynthesis and respiration? Letter A. The reactants of photosynthesis are also used as the reactants for respiration. B. The energy produced by respiration is used to fuel the photosynthesis reaction. C. Photosynthesis and respiration are two different processes for producing glucose. And D. The chemical products of photosynthesis are used as the reactants for respiration. So what do you think is the answer? Uh, let's check letter A. Let's see if it's the correct one. The reactants for of photosynthesis are also used as the reactants for respiration. I don't believe so because if you take a look at the equation here, um, carbon dioxide and water are the reactants used to produce glucose. And in respiration, what we have here as reactants are energy, uh, oh no, sorry, glucose and oxygen. So letter A is wrong. Now let's go to letter B. The energy produced by respiration is used to fuel photosynthesis reaction. I think this one is reverse, you know, or the opposite one. Because um, photosynth uh, photosynthesis is, uh, does not produce energy, but it produces glucose. And the energy is not actually used in photosynthesis. But instead, uh, the glucose produced in photosynthesis is what is used in respiration to produce energy. Right, so letter B is absolutely wrong. Now, letter C. Photosynthesis and respiration are two different processes for producing glucose. Um, photosynthesis produces glucose, but respiration does not produce glucose. It produces energy, um, carbon dioxide, and water. Okay, so... The only option left for us is D. The chemical products of photosynthesis are used as the reactants for respiration, which is absolutely correct. So using these equations to answer some questions on your GED test are really important. So it's very important or uh, very good to you know uh, keep this handy, these two equations. So. I suggest that um, as GD learners, you should try to memorize these two equations. All right, that's it for our lesson for today. And if you'd like to know more about Pocket Pals, please see our Facebook page or um, call us in the number here on this slide. Um, it's 0814170978. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.